I took a poll on Instagram. The poll was for you guys to vote for my next YouTube topic. Majority voted for Bible errors. I would have voted for the other one, but whatever. Then I gave everyone the opportunity to offer up one Bible error each. Lego. Was it one demon-possessed man or two demon-possessed men? Matthew mentions two demon-possessed men. Mark and Luke mention one. Do the gospel writers contradict each other here? How about this? Matthew tells us that there were two demoniacs. Mark and Luke only mention one of the two. That's entirely possible. There is no contradiction. There's only a contradiction if one statement renders the other statement impossible. In such a case, only one or neither of the two can be true. Mark. And when Jesus had stepped out of the boat, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. Luke. When Jesus had stepped out on land, there met him a man from the city who had demons. For a long time he had worn no clothes and he had not lived in a house but among the tombs. If Mark and or Luke would have specified one man, while Matthew says, and when he came to the other side, to the country of the Gadarenes, two demon-possessed men met him, then we'd have a problem. These two statements do not contradict. All three accounts describe demon possession, the power that Jesus has over the spiritual realm. All three tell us that Jesus made a point to travel to that place, to save someone from demon possession. And all three affirm that there was at least one man plagued by demons. The fact that the three accounts differ in some minor detail merely proves that they were written by different authors each having chosen to focus on a particular aspect of the story.